How is a Cessna born? Does it hatch from an egg and fly away? Or is it a descendant of dinosaurs? Perhaps, but to an aerospace engineer, the first time an aircraft takes physical form is a model. And in this case, it's a wind tunnel model. Our goal is to design and manufacture a low fidelity wind tunnel model to compare its performance characteristics with an existing data set for the actual airplane that it's based on. Using section views and known dimensions for the Cessna, we were able to reverse engineer its geometry and also create 28 SOLIDWORKS errors. We've had to follow really strict guidelines for our model in order to be allowed into the KWT. And it shows in terms of both our design and material choice. The main body of our aircraft is made out of pine wood with internals such as 4140 alloy, 4130 alloy, as well as lots and lots of aluminum. Original load estimates suggested that at 90% of the KWT's maximum speed, we'd be reaching lifts on the order of 200 pounds for each wing. When you take into consideration we have to design this thing with a 5-factor safety, that means that theoretically our model could withstand 2,000 pounds of force. And due to complex geometry and shipping issues, most of our parts ended up coming in mere days before our KWT testing. But putting that aside, I'm going to stop yapping and let you enjoy the rest of this montage. Mm -hmm.